it will be from starvation and malnutrition. This indecision and inaction is a choice, and choices have consequences. Severe malnutrition is not a quiet or painless death. As children get hungry, their bodies weaken, their muscles waste, their vision blurs, immune systems fail, organs fail, hearts stop. At this stage, children are too weak to cry. While I was in Gaza, I visited some really excellent humanitarian programs staffed by incredible people, my own colleagues and many others. I saw a field hospital erected in 14 days using only locally available materials because the other materials were not allowed in. These heroic efforts are fighting against an overwhelming tide of need. There is no sanitation to speak of. A community I visited had one toilet for 600 people. Women stood in line for three hours to make use of it. Schools normally form a spine of protection for children, a place where children can seek humanitarian services and normality. Go ahead. Education is... Is that an earthquake? Yeah. Well, <coughs> Education is... You're, you're making the ground shake. <laughs> <laughs> Education is, in many ways... Madam President, am I okay to continue? Yes. 